Tonight, I'm going to talk to you about this book. It's called My Side of the Street, Why Wolves, Flash Boys, Quants, and Masters of the Universe Don't Represent the Real Wall Street by Jason DeSena Trinert. Uh, this book is mostly a memoir about Trinert's career on Wall Street. Now, I think the book was probably written for people who either work on Wall Street or know how Wall Street works. Now, if you don't know how the financial system works, you could look up words in Investopedia. Uh, there are other sources online, but I really like Investopedia.com. You know, just go there. Uh, Trinner claims that Wall Street people aren't like Gordon Gecko from the movie Wall Street or like the Wolf of Wall Street. He misses the mark, though. I think he's trying to say, hey, you know, real Wall Street is not like that. But yet, um, you know, some of his behavior in this book is is similar to the Wolf of Wall Street. I mean, not exactly, but, uh, you know, he drinks a lot and, you know, things like that. Like uh, like the quote here, uh, he, he says that... Uh, he starts the book by going to a place called San Pietro to see what he says are the masters of the universe the same way others might visit a zoo. Now, like I say, how is that not like the Wolf of Wall Street? It's not as crazy, but still. And Trinner mentions that he had a love at first sight reaction to Wall Street. He started off as a cold caller. He made 80 calls a day and... After taking his Series 7 test, he became a stockbroker. I, I never knew there was such a test. I thought maybe he just got hired or something. I don't know. But I, there is a test to become a stockbroker. In this chapter, he has a, a Wolf of Wall Street moment and another one. He says, when I wasn't in the middle of almost heroic drinking sessions with my buddy, I studied for the exam very seriously. So he drank a lot. You know, he, he has a chapter in there where he criticizes the TSA, and and I agree with him. TSA is just a bunch of bullies. That's really all they are. They're not doing anything, really. They're not stopping any terrorists. They're just bullies, and we put up with them. Now, he offers advice for young people who are interested in building a career on Wall Street. And I think this is the best part of the book. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't read this book word for word. I kind of jumped around a little bit. I didn't like the partying stuff. And uh, there are other parts of the book I thought were annoying. So I'm going to give you the, uh, the advice he gave the reader. One, assume no one will help you until you've accomplished something. He says you're there to do a job that helps the firm make money. <laughs> a dog just joined me. And that's it, really. He says you're there to make somebody money. And Wall Street professionals require ambition, self-direction, and a thick skin. Number two, focus on achievement rather than status. He says, in an industry made up of people of unparalleled competitiveness, it is natural to focus on beating the other guy at his own game. But the trick is, is trying to figure out what your game is. Three, learn to live the capital asset pricing model, or CAPM. And according to this model, those earning the highest returns are the ones who, who take the most chances or... Um, Take on the most risk. <laughs> How you doing, Max? And play to your strengths for number four. If you're good at what you do, the money will come. The author says, in an industry that isn't trying to cure cancer or put man on the moon, attitude beats aptitude every time. So be sure that you have the skills and temperament for the job you're doing. And I, I found this here. So aptitude versus attitude. Aptitude is a person's natural ability to learn something. And attitude is a person's feeling, opinion, or perspective about something. Five, realize that Wall Street 
is both large and small at the same time. Uh, Wall Street has the largest money center banks, mutual funds and hedge funds, but it's also an insular community. So don't create enemies. And read. It says reading is essential to an understanding of investing and um, you can't reduce it to mathematical models but it is a social science and the author recommends certain books here i've not read these myself but um, the money game by adam smith you can see there uh, free to choose by milton and rose friedman uh, manias panics and crashes by charles kindleberger he also recommends movies watching certain wall street movies like other people's money rogue trader working girl margin call and wall street probably the most famous of these i haven't seen any of those movies except for wall street i watched a little bit of other people's money but uh, i didn't really like it that much but uh, wall street was pretty good but he considers gordon gecko to be sort of like a cartoon character <laughs> that's what he says but anyway that's all i have on this book uh, it's not a book I highly recommend. If you want to read it, you can. I think I got it at the Dollar Tree. It was one of those rejected books that they sell. So Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.